Hey guys, it's Peter Fry, and welcome to the Living with Hope podcast, a daily devotional where we dig into God's Word and explore what it means to live with hope in Jesus. Hey, I hope that this walk through the pieces of armor in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17, has been helpful for you as we've repeated over and over uh, this command to stand firm in the strength of the Lord. And I'm going to read today as we focus in on the first part of verse 17, take up the helmet of salvation. We're going to talk about that in a moment, but I want to read verses 10 through 17 as we uh, immerse ourselves in the truth of God's word that you are equipped for the battle the spiritual battle that is waged for your heart and your mind. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. You ever notice that the battle of the Christian life, the spiritual battle, is often fought in our minds, in our thoughts, I think of that line from uh, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. And there's that prone to wander. Our minds are prone to wander. I don't know if you're like me, even when I'm reading the Bible, that my mind is prone to wander into thoughts of what's going on in my day, what's going on in my inbox, what's going on in my text messages. And there's that prone to wander. And I think especially today, here in the 21st century, we are overloaded with information. Whether it's our newsfeed, whether it's uh, the uh, politics of the world around us, whether it's um, the information that we have to take in and consume and output in our job or whatever it is, whether you're a student or whatever sphere of life you're in, we have an information overload. And it's because we are uber connected. We are over connected through technology. And this information overload, I think, is one of the greatest spiritual uh, devices that, that Satan uses to distract us from the truth of the gospel. Yeah, we saw in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, that we have been blessed in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. But how often our minds forget that? And this is why the helmet, that, that piece of armor that, that protects the, the mind, that protects the head, is our salvation. And and in many ways, the helmet is this crucial piece of armor that protects our mind. And, And this is what protects your mind in the spiritual battle, is your salvation. And I I want to encourage you today that if you have put your faith in Jesus, you can be assured of your salvation. You may have heard a preacher in the past say, are you sure that you're sure that you're sure that you're saved? And it's this kind of uh, questioning of your salvation. Are you sure that you put your trust in Jesus? And like we looked at yesterday with the shield of faith, faith is not about the quality or the quantity, it's about the content. 
And this is the calling uh, that if you have put your faith in Jesus, the object of your faith is that Jesus is our substitute, that he died in our place to offer forgiveness for the sin that we committed against God. And it, by his death, he satisfied God's wrath. And he took the judgment that we owed because of our sin. And through his resurrection, he offers that sin is defeated and death has been overcome. And there is new life to be experienced in Jesus. This is the truth of our salvation. And it has nothing to do with the quality or the quantity of your belief. It has everything to do with, do you trust in the person and work of Jesus? And this is where I want to encourage you today. You And I've been there many times in my spiritual journey where I've questioned, am I truly saved? Have I trusted? And it's in those moments where I have to go back to the book of Ephesians in chapter 2 where it says, by grace you are saved through faith and this is not of yourselves. And I've got to take myself out of the picture in this whole, yes, I am called to participate and put my trust. Uh, confess with my heart and my mouth that Jesus is Lord. But all of this is a result of what Jesus has done in the Spirit of God stirring me to the place of belief. And so I, I want to encourage you that the helmet that protects your mind in the spiritual battle that, that wages on is to put your confidence in the reality that salvation does not lie in our hands but it lies in the outstretched arms and hands of Jesus who were pierced for you. And when we put our confidence in that, our salvation becomes a helmet that protects us. It protects us from the lies of the evil one when he says, is God really good? Did Jesus really die for you? Did, was your faith genuine? And in, in those moments, we come back to the truths of the gospel, that you are chosen by the Father, you're redeemed by the Son, you're sealed by the Spirit. Our God is three in one. And all of this is the, the, to the praise of his glory. And so you are equipped for the battle. And you have been given salvation in Christ. And this is the message, I think, of Ephesians that, that you need to walk away with as we, uh, uh, that we, as we think about how does Ephesians change the way we live. I think part of the message of Ephesians is you can be sure and you can stand on that confidence that you have been saved. That if you have put your trust in Jesus and received his new life by grace through faith, put your confidence in the reality that that salvation can guard your mind when you are prone to doubt. When your mind is prone to wander and tempt into temptation, remember who you are in Christ and then walk worthy of the gospel and stand firm in the strength of the Lord.